Well, sadly to report, there was a shooting in Seattle involving an Asian woman and her pregnant child. The suspect, a white male. How about no? What? Uh, it's a no for me, dog. He wasn't white. Fuck. Oh, he was black. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Well, there goes that Asian hate thing. I'm Jazz Borgonzo, and this. I told you so. Just doesn't quite say it. Is what's next. Hey, what's up, guys? Jazz Borgonzo, what's next? Your daily? This is, of course, the weekend edition. You don't like reporting on stories like this, and um, but sadly, they occur, and uh, people have to know. Um, we go to Seattle, Washington, where a woman of Asian descent was shot, and that if that wasn't bad enough, she was pregnant at the time, and unfortunately, she did not survive. But the suspect, a white man... What? Oh, he was black. Wow. There you go. And here we go. This comes out of Post Millennial. Mugshot revealed that a suspect in a fatal shooting of an Asian American woman and her unborn child. And there he is. Surprised? Cordell Gosby, Al Gooseby. 30, was arrested on Friday and charged with the murder of Anna Kwan, who was pregnant at the time of her death. Yeah, she died. On Tuesday, her husband was also injured in the attack, although he is expected to survive. The mugshot was revealed by Seattle journalist Jonathan Cho and is, uh, is from a prior arrest in Illinois. Washington State does not release mugshots. Kwan, who shot to death in her Tesla in downtown Seattle, she was 32 weeks pregnant at the time. Doctors at the nearby hospital were unable to save the child. Wow. wow. This is 30-year-old Cody Gooseby, the man accused of gunning down Korean-American Ina Kwan and her unborn child in Seattle earlier this week. Her husband was also injured, expected to recover. Of course, this mugshot is from the Cook County Sheriff's Office in Illinois. The suspect to be real to be Cordell Maurice Gooseby, who has a felony record in Illinois. Early reports indicate that Gooseby used a stolen 9mm in a fatal shooting. When he was arrested, he told police, quote, I did it. I did it. Someone else tweeted, New details on the murder of a woman unborn baby in downtown Seattle. Court documents suggest shooting was unprovoked. No interaction between suspect and victims before he ran up to their car and opened fire. Police officers found the victim after responding to the calls of shots fired in downtown Seattle at an intersection of 4th Avenue and Lenora Street. The white Tesla, which was uh, Quan, uh, which was Quan was sat in, uh, was riddled with bullet holes, and a couple were found both with shotgun wounds. Gooseby was found nearby with the help of witnesses and who told the police where he had gone. Their murder weapon was also recovered at the time. Quan, 34, was transported to the hospital along with her husband, where she passed away. You cringe every time someone gets shot. Doesn't matter what color. Doesn't matter what race, doesn't matter what age. And of course, it's one thing when they're being shot, it's another thing when they've been shot and they have died. But when you have something like this that is totally unprovoked, when you have a woman who's sitting in her car, 32 weeks pregnant, and of course we don't know at the time what she was doing, of course she, she was in the car with her husband, and a piece of shit an evil demonic asswipe with a known record in Illinois who should have been in jail, but no, no, if I was released on bond or, you know, it is Illinois after all, you know, one of the most restrictive gun states in the country. But yeah, he, but yeah, the guy happened to have a record using a gun. Well, you know, how did that happen? Walked up to the car. And shot them both. Of course, the husband is going to recover and survive. But sadly, <laughs> I can't, you can't even imagine what's going through his head right now. 
with his uh, wife passing and their child. And we don't know if, the, if it's their first child or if it's the second and so forth. But remember a few years back when we had this all, uh, you know, attacks against the Asian community, Asian hate, Asian hate, Asian hate. And yet the majority of the attacks against the Asian population at that time were reported to be white turned out to be black yes african americans were attacking asian americans and asians now of course you're going to have those who are going to say well you know what this is not one of those jazz this is not one of those. this is this is totally separate away from the you know asian hate thing but is it because this is the first I'm hearing about this. This occurred Tuesday. I'm doing this video Saturday. I didn't see this on any local media, any national media, or any Twitter feeds. I saw this on my Twitter feed this morning. That's it. This first I'm hearing about this. So, how much you want to make a bet that the national media, or even local media, even Seattle media, didn't report this as Asian hate. I guarantee you that no one of the lib media, or no one liberal, we are talking Seattle after all, one of the most progressive, you know, woke cities in the country. I guarantee you they didn't even report this as quote-unquote Asian hate. Why? Because of the suspect. If this suspect would have been white, I guarantee you it would have been blasted. It would have been blasted on Seattle News and Washington State in total. But no, because he's a black man. Chirp, chirp, chirp. And that's sad. It's sad that this woman had to die and her baby. I mean, they're both in a better place now. But um, my prayers to the husband, my prayers to the husband's family, my prayers to her family. Because, um, well, and with that being said, I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below, like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.